let us discuss about SAR of H1 receptor antagonist antagonist so before we know about H1 receptor antagonist let us know brief about what is SAR SAR stands for structural activity A stands for activity R stands for relationship so overall it is termed as structural activity relationship now what is this structural activity relationship the chemical structure of a drug is proportional to the biological activity in other words the chemical structure of drug is proportional to the physicochemical properties what is the meaning of this structure proportional to the biological activity or chemical structure proportional to the physicochemical properties for example if you take any drug it possesses certain functional group say that functional group 1 functional group 2 functional group 3 so these are the functional groups attached to the drug suppose say that functional group 1 is not showing good activity not showing good activity means decrease in the activity or no good activity which activity biological activity now functional group 2 is showing potency means good activity it is not at all showing good activity no activity no activity now these are the functional groups in the chemical st structure of uh, drug there are various functional groups functional groups means it is in a group which are essential for the activity now functional groups may be carboxylic acid aldehydes ketones alcohols then esters all these all are called as functional group a drug contains various functional groups now if we see this there is no good activity or biological activity good activity potency and no activity by this we can come to know that functional group 1 is not essential for activity functional group 3 is also not essential but since functional group 2 showing potency very good activity so it is essential for activity means activity any activity it may be cancer it may be hiv or it may be uh, it may be tuberculosis any other activity we will see based upon the structural activity relationship now we can tell that this is not essential functional group 1 is not essential functional group 3 is not essential only the functional group 2 is essential for activity now let us discuss structural activity relationship in relation to H1 receptor antagonist. Now what are the structural features of this H1 receptor antagonist means? If we look on the various drugs, first generation and second generation, the common structural features what it required is, the common structural features I will draw, later I will discuss one by one. This is a skeleton of the H1 receptor antagonist. It requires aryl groups, two aryl groups, one and two. It requires terminal nitrogen or amines having alkyl groups, one alkyl group, two alkyl groups. And it contains side chain which is separated by this X with nitrogen side chain with n number of carbons how many number of carbons are required now if we have to understand this we have to know the target 
any structural activity relationship we have to understand based on the mechanism of action h1 receptor antagonist act by blocking the action of the histamine on h1 receptor consider this is an hypothetical structure of h1 receptor now the action of h1 receptor means it contains imidazole ring we already know the structure of histamine and the side chain ethylamine so consider this is this is an histamine structure now what does this h1 receptor antagonist do means it blocks the action of what it will do it blocks the action of histamine on h1 receptor now how to how it will block means generally to show the any pharmacological action drug plus receptor forms a drug receptor complex shows a pharmacological response or action now it is not easy that drug plus receptor combined and form a complex reversible complex it is not easy there is a chemical interaction taking place between the drug and the receptor now what type of chemical interactions are taking why these skeletons are important why this particular skeletons are important to understand okay or to uh, to show the pharmacological action or to show the h1 receptor blocking action now let us see one by one so we are having here aryl groups ar ar is aryl ar dash also is a aryl aryl means it may be in a phenyl ring or benzene phenyl heterocyclic compounds all will come a aryl phenyl or etero compounds or heterocyclic compound phenyl or heterocyclic compounds will come under aryl ar dash another aryl it is in a second aryl group here also you get a phenyl substituted phenyl substituted phenyl groups will come under substituted phenyl groups means on the aromatic ring there is a presence of chlorine bromine like that so substituted phenyl on the benzene ring one may contain a chlorine bromine like that the other may contain it contains phenyl as well as heterocyclic compounds now this uh, both are essential for activity okay so now when we uh, look onto the x what is this x means the x denotes that it may be a carbon it may be a carbon it may be a oxygen it may be a nitrogen no sulfur if sulfur you uh, keep here on x position if sulfur is there activity decreases no sulfur okay and n how many carbons are essential the to attach link between terminal nitrogen and this x means not more than 3 not more than 3 majorly 2 uh, n is equals to carbon chain it is nothing but n denotes the carbon chain carbon chain should not be more than 3 2 or at most 3 if it is more than that the activity decreases the pharmacological activity decreases so n must be either 2 or 3 now r and r dash r r dash these are alkyl groups or they are alkyl groups alkyl groups both are alkyl groups okay which may be methyl at most ethyl ethyl also less but methyl so methyl alkyl groups are essential now why they are essential now i told you that the phenyl groups are required here and here you required carbon oxygen or nitrogen and here required ethylene chain or propylene chain up to three carbons okay is required and here if you see that alkyl groups up to ethyl groups are essential now why they are essential means they will undergo interaction with the receptors now i told you drug plus receptor forms a drug re receptor complex to form a drug receptor complex there is a chemical interaction there is a chemical interaction between the receptor and the drug we said that the structural feature is this 
why it is essential i am going to explain why it is essential means it will interact with the receptor and form a complex drug receptor complex now two aryl groups are there how they interact with the receptors means aryl groups are hydrophobic so the interaction between aryl groups both one and two aryl groups they interact through hydro hydrophobic interaction the interaction name is called as hydrophobic interaction interaction hydrophobic interaction now both the aryl groups act on this receptor through what type of interaction hydrophobic interaction x is either oxygen carbon or nitrogen if hetero atoms are there they will interact with the they will interact with the receptor through hydrogen bonding what interaction if hetero atoms like oxygen and nitrogen are present they will interact with the receptor through hydrogen bonding the carbon chains if we see it should not be more than 3 okay so this carbon chains will link between x atom and the terminal nitrogen so how they interact means they interact through this also interact through hydrophobic interaction hydrophobic hydrophobic interactions they also interact with this hydrophobic interactions okay so the alkyl or alkaline or methylene groups are interact methylene or ethylene or propylene through a hydrogen bonding okay now here we are having terminal nitrogen when it uh, when the drug reaches to the target it will get, get protonated and form a positive charge it forms a positive charge now the target contains what negative charge what it contains negative charge coo minus so the interaction between positive and negative charge is called as electrostatic force of attraction electrostatic force of attraction ha huh? finally if you see that alkyl groups it ma it must not be more than methyl or ethyl groups okay so this also interact through hydrophobic interactions like this the drug will form a complex with the receptor resulting into drug receptor complex showing pharmacological action now we will conclude with this uh, particular explanation uh, very simple we conclude pharmacological actions or biological action or h1 receptor antagonist action first one it requires phenyl heterocyclic compound at this positions or substituted phenyl substituted phenyls so substituted phenyls means electron withdrawing groups electron withdrawing groups groups on phenyl on phenyl ring increases the activity increases the activity so if suppose here phenyl group is there say that phenyl group is there there must be a substitution of electron withdrawing group like halogens chlorine bromine like that so suppose if electron donating groups are there what happens means on this substitution suppose phenyl ring substitutions you have certain electron donating groups you say electron donating group like methyl decreases the activity electron donating groups decreases the h1 receptor antagonist this is the first point and second point x x must be either carbon oxygen nitrogen for increase in activity increase in activity why why it must be increase in the activity why it is essential means to undergo hydrogen bonding they will undergo hydrogen bonding we have already seen how it will interact so if we you take sulfur instead of x you take sulfur decreases activity sulfur decreases activity third one is the chain the carbon chain should not be more than 3 carbons 2 to 3 carbons more than that lipophilicity will increase lipophilicity is increased means 
it goes to the blood brain barrier anyway it is uh, causes sedation side effect so because of more lipophilicity are there so almost all uh, h1 receptor antagonist cause sedation so there may be an adverse effect chances two to three carbons are essential and finally the terminal nitrogen and the alkyl groups terminal nitrogen must be tertiary nitrogen or tertiary amine tertiary amine so tertiary amine gets protonated and undergoes electrostatic force of attraction increases the activity so primary this is tertiary amine primary or secondary amine may decrease the activity decrease activity this is the fourth point and fifth final point is two alkyl groups are present both alkyl groups must be either methyl or at most ethyl to increase the activity if you increase more propyl butyl pentyl lipophilicity becomes more and uh, uh, it will show the side effect central nervous system side effect so that's why it will must be either methyl or ethyl to increase the activity this is overall about structural activity relationship of h1 receptor antagonist